today I'm going to show you how to use a trigger order as your stop loss on the BitGet exchange. So if you want to know more on that, stick around. Now, before we go over the nitty gritties of this position and what all this information means, let's go ahead and first set an hour stop loss. Now to do that, I want you guys to look at the order card on the right hand side of my screen. Okay, now once again, we have on the second line open and close. I want you guys to toggle on over to the close. Now to set in that stop loss, forget the limit, forget the market. I want you guys to focus on the trigger price. Go ahead and click on trigger. Okay, as soon as you go ahead and click on trigger, you'll be presented with this order card right here. It says trigger price, execute price and amount, right? Now the trigger price is the price at which you say enough is enough. I am bleeding too much on this trade. I want to get out of this XRP USD short position. What price is that going to come in at? Now for me, I want to get out if price starts closing candles over this 32 cent reach. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go ahead and enter those numbers right in. Now the highest, um, the wick on this candle was at 3218. I'm going to say 3219 and get me out of this position. All right. So now the execute price. Now the execute price is a price at which you actually get out of your trade at. Now because we have short sold XRP to take our losses, we have to buy it back from the market. Right? What price do we want to be buying it back at? Well, if my trigger price hits at 3219, I want to be buying it back at around 3215. So now to break this down in very, very simple English, what this is saying is that if price goes up to 0.3219 cents, get me out of my position. Get me out at a price that is equal to 0.3215 cents. How much of my position am I looking to close out? I am looking to close out the entire position. And for me, that is 1,150 XRP. So now remember, we're in an open short position and to close the short out, whether we're taking profits or even stopping our losses, we have to buy it back, okay? To close that short, I want you to click on the close short button. Alrighty, now as soon as I do that, I'm presented with this pop-up that says this is going to be a trigger order. This is a close order. What is your trigger price? My trigger price is at 0.3219 cents. Trigger type is going to be a market price. And what is the price that my trade gets executed at? It gets executed at 0.3215. All right. And how much of my position am I looking to close out? I am looking to close out the entire thing, which for me is 1,150 XRP. Now I'm going to go ahead and click confirm. Now, like most exchanges, BitGet as well has fees associated with every trade that you execute, and that includes executing a trigger order. All right. And believe me when I say those can really, really rack up when you start adding all your fees together at the end of the year when you're doing your taxes. So for those of you looking to trade seriously, I suggest checking out the link in the description below to the BitGet exchange where you can get some $8,000 in deposit bonuses as well as 15% off on your trading fees. So go ahead and check it out. With that, you'll notice that I now have an open stop loss order on the chart, right? If you look at this region right here, it says close short at 0.3215, which is the trigger. Okay, now to see it for real, I want you to go ahead on over to your open orders tab right here. Okay, and right underneath this, this menu, there's another sub menu that says limit order, trailing stop, take profit and stop loss order, and a trigger order. What we just placed was a trigger. Okay, so if I go ahead and click trigger, you'll see my stop loss position right there. Now, if you're looking to change your stop loss order, you may do so by just hitting on that little edit button right there next to trigger price. If I go ahead and hit that, I can now amend the stop loss order if you wish to do so. Now, I am not looking to amend anything, so I'm going to just go ahead and cancel this. But you can change your stop loss order from here if you're looking to do that. Brilliant. Now, this is how you execute a stop loss using a trigger order. Now, for those of you looking to use a trailing stop instead, I'm attaching a step by step guide on how to execute a trailing stop on the BitGet exchange. So go ahead and check it out. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and well subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And hey, if you think that this video could be beneficial to somebody else out there, don't hesitate to share it. And with this, trade safely, trade stress free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys.